Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing something that I look forward to sharing all year long, and it is my kids' stocking stuffers for this Christmas. So if you're new here to my channel, my name is Julie. I'm a mom to five, and my kids are 12, 10, nine, seven, and four. So I'm gonna share with you today what's in each of their stockings. I love buying gifts for their stockings almost more than I enjoy buying their tree gifts. I just love picking up little little trinkets, little things that they want in their stockings. I always try to not go overboard, and I'm also very intentional. We're very intentional. My husband does help a little bit, but it's definitely mostly me that does the shopping. But we try to be very intentional with what we put in their stockings. Um, and not go overboard. And as I gathered all of the stuff, all the stocking stuffers, I thought maybe we did go overboard. But then before filming this video today, I separated everything and I think, no, I don't think we did. It just, it looks like a lot when I have five kids gifts all, all together in one, in one big old bin. But without further ado, I'll show you what I bought. I will try to link as many of the products as I can down below in the description box. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my youngest, Wesley. He's four. Wesley was the hardest one to buy for this year. For both stocking stuffers and tree gifts, I found him the hardest. And I think for one, he's the youngest of five, and so he has he has plenty of toys. We've gradually built up, you know, good quality toys uh, through the kids. Anyway, all that to say, I was like, what does he even need? <laughs> so we always do toothbrushes in stockings. And so this year, something new, I got all of the kids an electric toothbrush. And so just different characters on each of their toothbrushes. So Wesley got Chase. I also got him this spot it game. You can't really see the, the top properly. It's still wrapped in this plastic. I guess I could open it. But we have just the original spot it game and Wesley really enjoys playing it. It's just a really simple game that even a four-year-old gets. Even when he was three, he could play this game. And so this one is the camping edition. So all the pictures on the cards are camping related. We also got him a little Duplo set. He's really been enjoying his Duplo lately. And I kind of... He's at the age where he's almost the age of playing with Lego. You'll see when I show the gifts for Under the Tree, we got him more Duplo too. But I'm like, no, I'm not gonna rush him growing up and right now he loves Duplo. So even if he only plays with this for the next year before he graduates to Lego, that's enough. It's not a waste to buy him some for this Christmas. We also just got him one monster truck. And then we got him some socks. So we always do socks and underwear in the stockings. I haven't gone and bought the underwear yet. I wanna wait for a good sale and I'll buy all the kids underwear. So um, that's okay, you guys don't really care to see underwear, right? But I did go to Winners and get each of the kids a good brand of tall socks. So not just the usual ankle socks, but good winter socks. So these ones are the Bench brand. It's just four pairs. And that's it for his stocking. Of course, I am also gonna go out and buy treats. I didn't buy treats yet. So I usually get candy canes, some like mini chocolate bars, and then I usually get a roll of bubble tape for each of the kids. So a few little treats too, but I only have the, the toys and stuff to show you today. I don't have those treats yet. So that's it. His stocking is pretty simple. Some of the kids get more in their stockings. Some got less. It depends on what we got for their stockings. So Zara's for instance, she has quite a few items, but a few just really small cheap items. And so when we were figuring out a budget, I mean, trying to figure out a budget for what to spend on each of the kids, about half of what we spend is stocking and about half is tree gifts. Like I said, I just love buying their, buying their stocking stuffers. So one thing we got for her, she was requesting some gel pens. Her sister has some and she feels left out that she doesn't have any. She, both of the girls are really into these little mini brands right now. And so I was able to find these at Winners for a really good price. Those were on sale. I also got at Winners this two pack. Hold on. I have all this stuff on my lap. All of her stocking stuffers are on my lap. I haven't opened this one yet. This one is mini. Okay, sorry, I knew they were different things. This one is Toys mini brands. And then this one here looks like it's all the food mini brands. So there are two cases inside this. One will be for Zara and one will be for Charity. I also got her just a really 
one little pack of Hatchimals. She got some socks as well. These ones are actually the same as what Wesley has, just the bench four pack of tall socks. She also got a toothbrush. She got Sky on hers. I got her this little set of earrings. It's just three, there we go. It's just this set, three different pairs of earrings and she was requesting more earrings. I also got each of the kids in their stockings got a notebook. I got these from Book Outlet. They were on sale. I think I paid $1.50 for this cute little notebook. And this happens sometimes when I'm ordering online. I didn't really check the size and I got it and I can see it's a little bit big to fit in the stocking, but I think I can cram that in. I also got her this little set of hair bows. She likes me to do things in her hair like two braids or two ponytails and then she wants bows but we don't really have any matching sets of bows and that gives us a few different color options of matching bows for when she wants two. And then the last couple things I got her just a little pair. I think I got these um like after Christmas last year for like 75 cents, just a pair of fuzzy socks. Sometimes she likes to wear those rather than slippers, like with her pajamas. And then also a neck gaiter, like a neck warmer. So if you know, if you're living in a cold climate like us, in the winter time, it's nice to have something around your neck to keep you nice and warm. I think I forgot to say Zara is my seven-year-old. So on to my nine-year-old, Simeon. This is another gift that I've been hanging on to for a long time. I think I got this right after Christmas last year. And we love this brand, this combi brand for winter gear. And he has a red coat right now. And he has a pair of, I think they're just black gloves, but these were way on sale. And I thought he would like a pair of red gloves to go with his current winter coat. He also was wanting a new water bottle. So we went to the Under Armour outlet and found this one. His toothbrush is a Minions toothbrush. He loves Minions. He's loved Minions for years and years. I think he was probably three when he started loving Minions and he, he always wants more Minion stuff. We got him this two pack of Monster Treks. I also just, he loves little figures and I saw this at Once Upon a Child. It was like a dollar, a dollar fifty. But that's what he loves is just little figures. So I picked that up for him. I also got him a neck gaiter just like the one Zara has. These are reversible too, so that's kind of fun. We got a notebook for him. It's like this fake leather uh, front and back cover. So all the kids were asking for that actually. Funny enough, they all asked for new notebooks. And then some taller socks for him. These are the Under Armour brand. They're called their, their training socks. So the kids love wearing the taller socks in the winter. And I can tell you too, wearing taller socks with your boots, if you're gonna be out in deep snow, taller socks are really nice. And then I got this two pack of swim goggles. I'm gonna open this pack and I'll give one pair to Elijah and one pair to Simeon, but they're taking swim lessons and I know that they could use new goggles. I think we have two pairs between the three oldest kids. And so almost every week they're fighting over goggles. So I will be relieved to get the new ones. And then recently when Andrew and I went to the Under Armour outlet, we got, oh, such a good sale on kids t-shirts. They didn't have Zara's size. So that's why only the three older kids will have a t-shirt but I thought that was a cute one that Simeon would like. For Charity, she is my 10 year old. She wanted, actually, did she ask for one or not? Yes, she did mention that she wanted a new water bottle and she does gymnastics, so I thought a sport water bottle, like a squeeze one, would be nice for her for that. I also got her one of, the, one of these little toy mini brand balls. And then of course she will also split that one mini brands case with Zara. Uh, we got her, she kind of has outgrown this honestly, Anna and Elsa, but that's, that's what they had unless she wanted like My Little Pony or something. So that's the toothbrush we got for her. She also has a really pretty notebook. I love the color and the design on that one. We also got her some socks. These ones look super duper nice. They're all different brands. I just kept going to winners and checking and seeing if they had tall socks, tall like warm socks for the kids. And this is what brand they had when I got Charities. 
So this one is only two pairs, but they're thermal, really nice warm socks. She also got just a little, one little pack of Hatchimals. We also got her a t-shirt. So this is the one we got her. I'm sorry, I just heard footsteps outside my door. I wanna make sure nobody's listening. Okay, I think we're good. But that's the t-shirt I got for her. I also got her a little pair of earrings. I'll try to show you a good close-up view of these. I thought those were really, really pretty. Look how pretty they are. They're like really mini little ear crawlers, I guess. But she will like those. They're the real sterling silver. Her ears are pretty sensitive, so we have to get her good quality earrings. And lastly for her, I got her this cute little makeup bag. I think the pink's not showing up, but it says be bold. And then we also got her two little lip glosses. She has yet to wear colored, colored lips. That's not true. Sometimes she will ask to wear mine and I'll put them on her, but she doesn't have any of her own. And so I thought it would be nice for her just to have a little, a little um, pouch here to put some of her, her fun little makeup product. So that is her stocking, of course, underwear and candy and chocolate I still have to buy. And then let me show you Elijah's. He is my 12 year old. Elijah's stack on my lap is very small because he's getting older and he just, he asks for um, more expensive big kid items. So for him, we got this pack of socks. They're just like, um, Simians, although I did make sure to get different colors. Sometimes it's nice to have matching stuff for the kids, like, oh, they have the same, they have the same shirt or they have the same pair of pants or whatever. But my boys are so close in size. Actually, that being said, the pairs of socks I bought for both the boys, they're actually the exact same size. And so sometimes it's nice to get different colors so they know for sure whose are whose. We also got him this little book. It's the same as Simeon's little journal, just a different color. We also got him a toothbrush. So I found this Star Wars Mandalorian one for him. They all have electric toothbrushes. We also got him a t-shirt while we were at the Under Armour store. His, actually I'm just realizing his is like the, what do you call this? Is it polyester or something? I am not good with materials. Let's see, 100% polyester, you guys. I am kind of shocked <laughs> that I knew this was polyester. Uh, the other kids' shirts are cotton, so he has a polyester one. And then I also, okay, we also got him a flashlight. We thought it was time for him just to have a nice, good quality, his own flashlight. The other thing, the last thing we bought him that just hasn't come in the mail is a new baseball cap. He wanted a new baseball cap, and so the one I ordered for him it's a dark gray or black. I don't know why the package hasn't come yet because I ordered it probably two weeks ago, so I'm forgetting. And of course, we're also getting Elijah that other pair of swim goggles that was in that two pack. So that's it. That is what is in our kids' stockings this year. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at that. And let me know down in the comments below what you're putting in your kids' stockings this year. Also, come back next Monday. Yes, it should be next Monday. My video will go up showing what our kids' gifts are under the tree. So if you want to see what else we're buying for our kids this Christmas, make sure you come back next week and check that out. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.